Hello our beautiful viewers at home, welcome to the season premiere of The Deep. I'm so excited to have you all on your screens as we have our flamboyant, the personal person of the people, Mr. R. R. Kadene, Mr. Robson Ray Kadene. Welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. This is The Deep and the viewers at home are expecting to leave the show knowing all they desire about Mr. Kadene. There's no problem about How that. How does it feel to join us tonight? No, it's very nice. It was very nice of you. Thank you very much. So tell us about yourself, say, um, who is Robson Kadene? Mm. Robson Kadene is a, a man who was born in Harare some 70 years ago. And I schooled in Harare, and I got a job in Harare. I started working for U UDC, which was the only company which was giving money to people. It was called the Money People. Then from there, I got transferred to Kwe Kwe. It was in, the, in 1979. 1970, that's when I came here, I was a representative of the UDC in Kwekwe. Then from there, I joined Old Mitchell, and I worked there for quite some time. And the, 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 the good days that I remember at Old Mitchell was, um, you know, we were selling insurance. At a certain time, there, there was a, a, a standard set that people we're working on that standard uh, of how many lives you manage to recruit into the company. When I, when I got there, they had a record of a man who recruited five people in one week, mm. from Monday to Saturday. So when I got there, I broke the record. Wow. I gave in eight lives in one week. Then the following week, I broke my own record. I got 11 people. Wow. Then the other week, I broke my record again to 14 people. Okay, just to, just to cut you short before you continue, if I may ask, you know, when we're growing up, we have these compositions, the essays that we're writing at school um, about what we want to be when we grow up. Was it part of your vision to be in the business in the business sector, in the financial department, should I say? Yes, no, I, uh, I always wanted to be a businessman. Well, you know, my father, my brothers were involved in politics. My father was in Gonagudzingwa, he died there. Then um, that made me fix my mind on becoming a businessman. That's when I started. But when I was at Old Mitchell, we only crossed roads when they said they wanted to transfer me to Vic Falls. And I, st I had started a small business there, which was a fish and chips shop. It was called Kariba Fish and Chips. Then um, I decided to leave and start on the business. That's how I started. Then we went on very well from there. Uh, on that fish and chips shop. We went from there and rented that in the shop. And from there, I started a bakery. Wow. And we were only three bakeries here. One for Midlands Bakery, one was um, Plaza Bakery, and that was me, the third one. We went on very well. We sold a hell lot of bread some all over the shore. Then um, from there, I bought a place out of town. Um, when I went there, you know, there was land, there was nothing besides the house which was there. But what motivated me to get into this kind of, this other business was, um, I saw a lot of people every weekend who were going down to Belmine. And I asked, where are those people going to? They said, there's a 
a pub there. Then I said, I want to build mine. Back then, it was still called Bell Mine? Yes. Okay. Then I said, I want to build mine. So I started on my own, build my own. Then I, that's how I came up with uh, Club 007. Oh, okay. That's when we started Club 007, and we won't do very well. And we had a lot of customers. Uh, okay. So um, let's, let's, take us, uh, let's take ourselves back. Mm. Besides Mr. Kadene being a family man, mm. besides Mr. Kadene being a businessman, is Mr. Kadene also a family man? Very much so. Yes. Very much so. Married, two girls, and two boys. Very, and uh, another, another, two boys, uh, no, I made a mistake, three girls, two boys. Interesting. And uh, I'm very proud of my children, because they also went to school. Yes. One of them lawyer, one of them PhD, one of them, that's, that's, that's the story about the, the, the family. We are there, all my children are out of the country. We are only myself and my wife. In terms of the business side, again, we are, we are coming back to the business side. How has your family contributed um, in terms of supporting the business to grow into making you, as well as the family name, to be a well-known um, business-related name? Hey, my family is very supportive because I do my business with my family. We have got a trust in the family. So the on, the, 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 one of the most things that I encourage even the youngsters here is um, when you are doing business, involve the people who, are, who could inherit the same business. So as far as I'm concerned, my family is with me 101%. That is brilliant. Um, there you have it, our viewers. Catch us after the break as we bring you more and more about Mr. R. R. Kadene. Welcome back, viewers, from our short commercial break. Um, for those that have just tuned in, you are live with Mr. Kadene, Mr. R.R. R. Rob, Robson Ray Kadene, as some know him, R.R. R. Kadene. Um, before the break, we, we had you sharing with us about how much you have support from your family. Now, would like to know how you spend your leisure time, what are your hobbies, what are you interested in, and what keeps you going to keep you off from boredom? Mm. I'm a musician. And uh, I train music. I've got a very good ear to music. Um, you can't believe, if you go to my house now, I've got a full set of instruments. Yes. If anybody comes there, I will teach you. But to go back a little bit, uh, I got some other three, three, three fellows from Gweru sometime in, I think, 1980. Yes, 1980. Some fellows came from Gweru. They wanted... Um, to, they wanted to, they wanted to hire mus uh, a kit, but I said, look, I don't hire mine, but who are you? They told me their names, and what do you want to do, they, they, their band? Then I said, if you want, we can form a band. They were very happy. Imagine, I took all the 
five people. And they were staying with me at my house. And we had a timetable because people mistake this kind of, this music thing. It's just as good as any other uh, business. Um, they could start practicing at 8. Mm -hmm. Go to lunch at 12. Come back at 2 and dismiss at 4. Every day. That's how dedicated they were. Yes. And uh, I looked for a name with the band. What, what name do you want to call? Then they were, they, 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 their name, it was uh, York 99. York, York 79, something like that. Then um, we, I came up with a name called Zigzag Band. Okay, York 99 was their name before... Yes. Then when we came here, we formed Zigzag York, putting that one York just to accommodate them. Then we realized now, just call it Zigzag Band. Okay. We had a very fantastic time with Zigzag Band. We were hired a lot of places. We did some numbers with them. And uh, it became a very popular band. But unfortunately, they, 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 they were very happy. They started enjoying life and all that goes with it. Unfortunately, there's only one original member who is left. And I can't believe that fellow, when he came, when he came to me, he was playing as his lead guitar. He was not even singing. But in the end, he was the man who was a, a vocalist. He's now in America. Okay. That's where he's working. It's called Gib um, Gilbert Ramaida. So as far as music from there, a lot of bands could come. And I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so happy that I can, I can listen very well and tell you how to do it. One time, I remember, some time back, I think Oliver is my Muzukuru. He came to me, stayed with him there. He had a problem with his band so he took over zigzag and they went to victoria falls and this this and came back until he formed his band again oliver we are talking i mean oliver mtukudzi oh the late dr oliver mtukudzi mm. Inter interestingly mr kadeni you're saying the zigzag band started in your house i mean this is the deep people want to know mm. more and more they want to leave every stone and tent mm. um tell us about the members perhaps where they are now, what they're into, their names, so that if maybe people want to follow them, um, tell us more about these members, the founding members of the, the Zigzag Band. Yes. Uh, Gilbert Ramaida is in Oregon, in the United States. He's the lead guitarist of uh, Thomas Mapfumo. Mm. He's there. It's called Gilbert Ramaida. Number one. Number two, there was a busman was called Fabian Rubaya. He was playing bass. And the man on the drums was called Stanley Piri. He left, he went to Botswana and he died there. And this Fabian also is of late. Oh. These were the first three. Then from there, we recruited um, one of the fellows which a lot of people liked was called Manuel Nkomo, Robert Lunga, and um, another man was playing saxophone for us. We had two saxophonists, and um, unfortunately, they are all normal. Shame. Besides this one who is um, in the United States. That's as far as Zigzag is concerned. And uh, I remember, when, 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 when we started playing, I had to put a number mm -hmm. for the zigzag band. It was zigzag is coming, is going like zigzag. Zigzag yoke. Do, 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 do. Zigzag yoke. Do, do, do. Zigzag yoke. But the zigzag is coming, is going like zigzag. 
So you could see that you're going to be bringing in more talent. Some talent is going to be leaving. That's how you sustain yeah. the names exactly. Yes. And the, it was the talk of town. This was the talk of town. And I'm sure you're very proud of Very much yourself. so. But I will never get another zigzag like that zigzag. That's the interesting part about music. It you share your history. There's always another person that takes you back to mm. from when it started up to mm. where we are now. Mm. Um, that is really interesting indeed. So tell us, are you working on something in terms of your music career? Are you working Look, on something? I'm. I've tried. I've tried. Um, because I've got the, the the instruments there. People come. They want to. They, we start we start on very well, but unfortunately their origin maybe is not as, we are not in the same bracket. Some of them want to play their own, but look when you at me you play what I want, okay. because I got the people who want the, what I want. Okay. So we might we might differ there. So we have got the people we are training some other people, but in the end when we when we when we open where we are, where we are building, we'll have to have a band there. I mean, this one is for the music lovers. Tell us, what was the first instrument that you perhaps got to play, you, that, that you loved, that you got to play first? Unfortunately, I don't play even one instrument, but I teach. How? That, that is absolutely <coughs> amazing. How do you do that? How do, that's, that's a very good question. If you come to me, I'll test you. If you are if you are going to sing. Let's say let's take let's let's take a bass guitar. Uh, I'll say, do you play bass? Yes, take your guitar, let's go. Follow what I am telling you to do. Tidam Dadam 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 Tim Didam Dadam Dadam Dadam. If he can do that, he's a good man. Because I will, if he misses, I will tell him, no, touch there. Okay. And touch here, touch it. I know, I can give him the sound. Then he can put it into the wire. Okay. That's how I teach. So I teach even, even the people who are, there are people who are talented, but we haven't got a chance to. To, to, to display themselves. And he's a singer. You can come to me, I'll tell him how to do it. I, I, I don't know how, I don't know how that this happens, but it happens. That's talent. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, can we say it's you, talent? <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, judging from the scoop that we have about you, I'll <coughs> say your favorite instrument is a guitar because from the whole beginning of this interview in the music sector you've been talking about the guitar non-stop so i'd say you love the guitar yeah, i love yeah it's not really fair to say I, I i like the guitar because the combination of the instruments is what makes the sound well because yeah. but if i was asked to play a guitar i don't want to play it i want to teach how to play a guitar okay Mm. All right. Thank you for sharing that um, segment with us about how you involved yourself in the music um, industry. Mm. And we want to know, well, the viewers at home want to know about the joints that you have been talking about. You mentioned earlier 007. Um, that was a long Bella Mine Road. Mm. Um, tell us more about it. What happened to it? Any chance that it's coming back with a bang? Any chance that... Um, what is going on with 007? 007 is there. But unfortunately, we traded so very well with my family. But unfortunately, we gave it to somebody who is my brother-in-law. Uh, he couldn't pull it off. He, 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 he had a problem. So I went back to him. Can you give it to me? Because my son wants to rent it. He said, you know, he's, he's very happy he's going to do it. But it has taken a very long time. So, every day looking at the place, 
which is idling. And uh, I've got a piece of land next to it. So I just made up my mind that let me build a place. Mm. I build a place. The place that I've built is very nice, should I say. Okay. If anybody wants to come and do um, a show, he wants to do a wedding, he wants to do church, he wants to do rally, everything is provided. This is right next to 007. Yes. It's just, it's a little, it's just um, 500. It's close to a, kilo, to a kilometer, but before 007. So it's there, we're there, we have got a dam, we've built a dam, we've put in water there, and we're going to put the, 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 the children's place, there's a jumping castle, the what what, trampoline, then the families will come there and sit. My idea is people must have somewhere to go and relax on a Sunday or a Saturday afternoon, which is not there. But I'm not talking of men coming to, uh-uh, that's not my idea. My idea is a family coming there. Because my idea is if somebody comes there, you will sell right. You've got your children, I mean, children, two children and your wife. You come there, you sit down. The father is having his beer. The mother is having his wine. The children are having their yogurt. So we're saying this is a fresh face yes. to 007. Yes. Nothing related to no. 007. No, no. Interesting. Um, let us take a short break and we'll bring you more about this new place straight from Mr. Kadini. Welcome back, our viewers. Those that have just joined us, you are live with Mr. R.R. Robson Ray Kadini, straight from Kwe Kwe. Um, Thank you once again, sir, for joining us. Um, before the break, we were talking about the future of 007, and you have given us a briefing that you have revamped 007. You have mm. actually tried to do away with 007, mm. and you have a new joint for us. They understand what you have been explaining, but out of curiosity, do you already have a name chosen for... The place? The place. Mm. It is called the Kalamazoo fun club kalamazoo fun club yes and there's a, a there's a number that goes with it okay a b c d e f g i've got a girl in kalamazoo i don't want to boast but i know she's a top of kalamazoo i'm going to michigan to see the sweetest girl in kalamazoo am i dreaming i can say yes amy thank you that's the name. <laughs> yeah. So when you get there, when you get there, um, we play you. That, that, that number will be playing there. That you at Kalamazoo. This is Kalamazoo. Okay. Then you get seated down. The Kalamazoo is there. Everybody. It's, that's, that's the way it's going to go. Interesting. Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun for us to hear that there is a new place and it's exciting because mm -hmm. we have very few places that we can say we're spending our time with family friends um just a different scenario mm. i mean do you should we expect it to open soon do we have dates set and where are we how are we positioned in terms of colors oh we've got uh, we've got um we don't have dates yet but as soon as possible because we have what we are waiting for the for the for the license, and um, we are finishing the swimming pool. And uh, I had forgotten one other aspect there. We have got five cars. Five cars. Which will be labelled Kalamazoo. So anybody who goes there is not going to have a problem of transport. Okay. One will be at the Kalamazoo, one will be on the way, one will be at the circle, one will be in town. When you can go up and down at Kalamazoo. Interesting. That's mm. the first I've heard yeah. of such stuff. Because, uh, because uh, people always think twice before they go there. 
before they used to go to 007. Okay. If I go there, how am I going to come back? So at Kalamazoo, you go there. Do you want to go? Yes, you can go. Do you want? Yes, you can come back. Um, all this might seem to be a bit challenging. I mean, viewers at home would love to know as to how you're managing, how, what are your business ethics, what are your business principles that guide you to continue growing, growing business-wise? What advice can you give the youth out there? I mean, considering also the circumstances of the economic situation, the pandemic, how is it affected? Maybe let's say your deadline of, uh, or due date of trying to open the Kalamazoo, like you're mentioning. Is there anything that you can advise the youth and our viewers as well? The problem these days is um, our youngsters, they want to make money yesterday, not today, yesterday, <laughs> and a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, they want to flush. That's not the idea. Number one, uh, when you are trying to do this, when you are trying to make this business, find out where you are getting the raw material like is it going to last is the supply enough am i going to go over two three four five years but unfortunately these days these youngsters they don't want to plan they just want to hit the money mm -hmm. so without planning you always have a problem in future so what i would ask these people is sit down and plan your things but the problem they are having is they most of them want to take people by surprise surprise doesn't pay consult mm -hmm. some people have gone through hell and they'll give you the education for nothing if i want to do this how can i do it? what are the pros and cons of this what the ups and downs. We have gone through the ups and downs. So we'll tell you so that you don't go through the same hell that you went through. So it is a question of planning. Yes. And what the, and a picture. You must have a picture. If things go on like this, if this, how are we going to do? If things come to the worst, how am I going to survive? But people these days, they only see the bright side. And when the, <laughs> the dark side comes, oh, there's a hell lot of a problem. So it is planning, planning. That's why some of these big commas, they do research. Like in my case, I did my research. Where do people in Kwekwe go on a Saturday and Sunday? Because some of them, they don't want to go right in the heart of the town. They want to go out. Somebody is staying in Beverly Hills here. He doesn't want to be. He wants to go some in, in the bush-like. Okay. Where you can see two, three animals there. Uh, people are in the, in, the, in, the, in the dam, in the waters. They, they, wa they want to change of environment is what is important. So as far as the youngsters are concerned, yeah, consult, please. All right. We're now jumping into the deep dive section mm. of Mr. Kadene. Mm. And we're just going to ask you a few questions of your preferences. Mm. So to begin with, we'll ask, do you prefer tea or coffee? Well, coffee. Soapies or soccer? Well, soccer. Okay. Soccer, Highlanders or Dynamos? The dynamic Dynamos. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> well, our viewers, there you have it. It was a pleasure having you, Mr. Kadene. <laughs> Thank Mr. you very Mr. much. Mr. Kadene, as he likes to call himself mm. and as the public knows him. Um, thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Deep with Mr. Kadene. Don't forget... To tune in next week, same time, same place. I'm your host, Tuso. Don't forget to like our Facebook page as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel on the details below. If you'd like the deep to host you next time around, please use the contact details below. Don't forget to sanitize. Stay safe. I'm out. <laughs>
Thank you.